Investigator Charles Latempio will remain on paid leave until next spring when he's eligible to retire. At that time, he'll retire with his pension and be decertified as a police officer in New York State. News 10 NBC investigative reporter Jennifer Lukey first broke this story in July of 2022 and has been following it ever since. And Jen, you got your hands on a trove of disciplinary records related to this case today. Yeah. Brett, Deanna, almost 500 pages. But first, let me start just reminding folks what happened. An EMT from Monroe Ambulance pulled into the parking lot outside of Strong outside of the emergency room. She had a patient in the back. She hit the door of this black car as she was getting out to unload her patient. RPD investigator Charles Latempio was in that car. He got out and asked her for her ID. She told him she'd give it to him after she got her patient inside. He followed her in and what happened from there has now been seen millions of times by people across the world. We all remember the video from inside the emergency room, and we saw the conversation between Detective Charles Latempio and EMT Lakia Smith on a responding officer's body camera afterward. But now we're getting a full picture of what happened before, too. This is a picture in the parking lot from the day of the incident. You can see how close the black car and the ambulance are. This is a picture of the alleged damage caused by the EMT when she opened the door into the car, although documents show there was prior damage on this vehicle. Either way, the situation escalated quickly after that. Detective Latempio was suspended for his actions that day, and an internal investigation since shows that he violated five of RPD's general orders lack of justification for detaining or arresting, unnecessary and excessive use of force, failure to de-escalate, improper conduct, and failure to double-lock handcuffs. Termination was recommended by the internal investigators. But before the chief can fire an officer, that officer has a right to a hearing with an arbitrator. It took more than a year to find one who would take this case. All the while, Lotempio remained suspended with pay. In the end, the arbitrator found, quote, there was inadequate evidence to prove the charges by a preponderance of the evidence. The only charge he sustained or agreed with RPD on was that Latempio failed to double lock his handcuffs, and he suggested a punishment of a counseling memo or training. RPD Chief Dave Smith was not happy with the arbitrator's findings or disciplinary suggestions. He tells me investigator Latempio's actions were not in line with his expectations, so he pursued an alternate disciplinary agreement, one that will ensure Latempio will no longer be a police officer in the city of Rochester. Now, Brett, Deanna, theoretically, the chief could have fired Lotempio, right? He doesn't have to follow the arbitrator's recommendations. But if he doesn't, then it opens up the city to possible litigation, uh. further appeals, and that could end up being costly and timely, all the while the investigator would continue to be paid while on suspension. Right. Yeah, so, Jen, let me make sure I'm clear here. Yeah. So he's been on paid suspension for two years. Yep. Then he'll be on for another six months, yep. at which time he'll be able to retire with full pension. Full pension. Yeah. The settlement says he has to use all of his vacation and comp time until December of this year, and then uh, he will be back on paid suspension until March of next year when he is eligible to retire. And with 20 years in and his current salary, he's looking at a pension of about $56,000 a year. I know you've been on the phone all day. Yeah. And I'm curious, have you heard from the EMT? What does she think about this or her attorney? Yeah. yeah, I have not spoken directly with her yet, but I did speak to her attorney this afternoon. It was news to him that this settlement wow. had been reached. I broke the news to him um, by um, having the documents. He had not heard that an outcome had been reached yet. So he, he, they're sort of waiting to hear what happens with all this because she has filed a civil suit against the department and the city about this. So um, they're going through all the paperwork now. I'm hoping to be able to speak with her tomorrow. Wow. Good. Thanks, Thanks so much. Of course.